there are many, many ways to carry knives. In the pocket, on your belt, in your boot, and on your neck. Introducing Neck Knives, a brand new kind of knife that just came out recently. Just kidding, they've been around for a long time and I'm sure you already knew that and that was not funny, sorry. But now that we got the colder weather coming along here, at least I have it anyway here in the US, in Colorado specifically, most parts of the US are chilling out a little bit as I'm filming this in late 2023. Regardless of what method, whether it's paracord, whether it's a chain, a neck knife will wrap around your neck pretending this is you right now. The tripod, the camera is you. This is essentially what you'd be seeing in first person. And if you don't have a coat over it or it's not underneath any kind of clothing, not under your shirt or anything like that, it's going to swing around as you move around. Honestly, that's the one thing I don't like about neck knives. They're a little bit obnoxious. They can be very handy. They're very easily accessible. They're right there. You just boop, your hand can go right around to where your chest is, where the knife is dangling. For this neck knife in particular, this is a pretty large one, this cold steel mini tack. That's pretty big for a neck knife, I think. This one's just a little bit smaller. The CRKT Minimalist, another one of my favorites. Sweet, sweet blade in there. And again, kind of a bigger blade for a neck knife, but same deal. You just pop it off the sheath, the cord or chain, whatever method you have to carry it. Keeps it stable. Pop. You're good to go. Personally, I'm lukewarm on neck knives. I don't typically carry them, and I don't have a very large collection of them. But... When winter comes along, when things get colder, when you're wearing a jacket, that's a little something to help stabilize the neck knife on you. Instead of it swinging around freely, if you're in warmer weather, let's say, and you're just wearing a t-shirt, or maybe you're in very cold weather, and for whatever reason, you're still wearing a t-shirt with no jacket, you're Joe X or someone like that, yeah, the knife's going to swing around and be a little bit obnoxious. Another thing is you're going to scare a lot of sheeple when they see this thing on you. <gasps> He's got a knife on him? That can't just be a big necklace. He's going to try to kill someone. That's why he's showing everybody that he has a knife on him. You know how it goes in those people's minds. I like neck knives because they are handy. They're very easily accessible. And they're fixed blades. Fixed blades, as far as strength is concerned, will always outperform any kind of folder, period. You cannot defeat the strength of a fixed blade. One solid piece of steel, you're good to go. Another thing is, just like with all fixed blades, they're a lot more efficient than folding knives. We have a much longer blade in comparison to the handle, unlike folding knives, where obviously the blade has to be at most, at most the same length of the handle. But in most cases, the blade obviously is a little bit smaller than the handle. So just by having such a tiny little handle right here, because of these deep, deep finger choils, I can get a really, really tight grip in this thing and have all of this edge to work with. Just about four inches on this Katana style CRKT minimalist right here. Same deal with the Cold Steel Minitech. Again, because it's a fixed blade, much longer edge to handle ratio right there. Now, since I always carry a folder pretty much under all circumstances of my life, I always got a folding knife, at least one of them in my right pocket. Neck knives are not really a concern to me. They're not the first thing that pops in my head when I'm going to go out and about. I already have a folding knife on me. I got a credit card knife in my wallet. I got a keychain knife on my car key set. But... Perhaps, let's say I'm going to an even shadier part of town, a more dangerous area, and it happens to be cold and I'm wearing a jacket or multiple layers of clothing anyway, and I can cover up and help secure the neck knife and prevent it from swinging around and being too uncomfortable. Sure, I'll throw on a neck knife. It's a very good excuse to have yet another knife on you. And let's say you don't like folders for whatever reason. You don't want to carry a folder. You just you just want to carry a fixed blade. A neck knife is very easy to get on and get off. You literally just wear it like it's a necklace. No sheath. You got to connect to a belt. You don't got to take your belt off and slip the sheath on. It's very, very easy to take off. The pros of neck knives are they're very easily accessible, very close to your chest area. They're very easy to equip. Just throw the chain or the cord around your neck and you are all set to go. The cons of neck knives are if you're not wearing a jacket over them or having multiple layers of clothing in front of them to stabilize them, they're going to swing around. They're very, very visible. A lot of people can see these. Just thought I'd make a quick little video discussing neck knives because neck knife time of year is here. EDC time of year is among us as I'm filming this right now. Because of the thicker pants, the jackets, at least most of us around the U.S. wear during this time of year, gives us a lot more opportunities to throw on more and more knives gear etc. What do you think of neck knives? Do you wear them normally? Do you wear them when it's warm out, even when you're not wearing that much clothing? Do you absolutely despise neck knives? Did I miss any pros and cons in this video? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Hit that little bell notification if you do not want to miss weekly knife and gun videos. And feel free to support me on Patreon. Link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Manix out.